Hey guys, welcome to my first Unity tutorial series. In this one, we are going to create the popular platformer Celeste. So yes, we're going to create the whole game. So everything uh, that's in there, we're going to create a character controller, the maps, the, uh, I don't know, uh, dashing. We're going to create everything that's actually in the game. So once you finish the tutorial series, we actually have a completely finished game that you can, of course, change up a bit so you can make your own game and yeah that's pretty awesome so we're just gonna start now the first thing that we're gonna do is of course go into unity hub and create a new project we're gonna uh, select 2019.3 for this but you can of course do this with any version later than this so i wouldn't recommend 2018 or something because some uh, stuff will be different in that version so just make sure you're 2019 or above good so once we're in here we're gonna select 2d give our project a name i just call it celeste game okay select where you want to save it and then hit create so once we are in unity we need to set up a few things before we can start on making the character controller so uh, we first need to go to Window, Package Manager, and then search for Universal, and here Universal RP, and just install that. We will need that for post-processing and 2D lights to make our game look way better than without them. So very important. Great, so once we've imported that, we can exit that. And what we need to do is we can make a folder called, uh, let's call it rendering. And inside that folder, we're going to right click, create, and go rendering, universal render pipeline, and create the pipeline asset. So this will create two things, but we need to go to our project settings next. I'll go to graphics click this little uh, dot here and select our render pipeline asset. Good. The next thing that we need to do is again right click here, create rendering universal render pipeline and this time create the 2D renderer. So just hit enter and here you have it. So we need to see, I think, uh, yeah, you need to go to universal render pipeline asset here and drag your new 2d render here perfect so now we should have set up everything so we can use post processing and everything but before we can use that we need to uh, select it here where is it ah uh, here it is so just make sure to check that one in your main camera so now we should be able to do post processing and stuff like that Perfect, but before we get into that, we actually want to create the character controller because this is one of the most important things. So, uh, what we're going to do first is uh, create an empty game object and just call that uh, level. And inside of that, we're going to create a 2G object sprite. Um, yes, a sprite, where is it here? Okay, so we can just select, I don't know, let's just use this one, because we only need a platform so uh, our character doesn't fall through. Okay, so we can scale it a bit here, and scale it a bit here, so it's not that important, we're gonna change that uh, later anyways. So yeah, you can just do this. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you actually add a box collider so box collider 2d at this and here you have it so perfect this is actually all we need okay so the next thing that we can actually do is make our player a controller so for this we're going to right click here and create a new c sharp script and we just call it character controller Cont Perfect, now you can open that up in Visual Studio. So perfect, you're in Visual Studio and now we can start doing the character controller. 
Uh, this Caltech controller I make is heavily inspired by the one I made from Blackthorn Prod because I'm not really that good at uh, coding character controllers, so it will be very similar, but we'll add, of course, some awesome things that he didn't, like dashing or doing stuff like that. So you can follow this tutorial, but you can also just use the character controller from Blackthorn Prod's video. I'll link it in the description. Okay, perfect. So the first thing that we need to do is create a public float of public float. We'll call it speed. Nope, speed. Uh, another public float called uh, jump force. Jump force. And another one, this time not public, so just a float. And we call it move in put. Okay, nice. Also, we want to make a private, or you don't need private, you can actually just say rigid body 2D. We can just call it RB. And uh, we also need a bool. Uh, we call that facing right. So this is very, very similar to his tutorial. Um, and we set that to true by default. Okay. We also need another bool. Uh, is grounded. We use this to check if the player is actually on the ground and reset his jumps. Because he should only be able to jump once he's on the ground and not in the air. Okay. Um, let's make a public transform uh, which we call it ground check uh, we need this actually this is a object that detects the ground uh, but we also want to do a public float called check radius so the radius in, in which the ground actually needs to be detected and a public layer mask which we call what is ground okay nice um yeah this should be it no we need two more a int which we call x or oh, actually we are not sure if we need it if we want to do double jump we actually need this but if we only do one jump we don't need it I'm not exactly sure which one I'll do. For now, we can just uh, leave that. So, okay. In, so, this is all we need here. In the start, we want to do RB is equal to get component rigid body 2D. Okay, nice. Now we can just go here and create a void fixed update. Oh yeah, private or not, it doesn't really matter. So let's just make a void fixed update. And in the fixed update, we want to set is grounded. Here, uh, we want to set that to physics. 2D dot overlap. Uh, circle overlap circle you want to get ground check dot position also check radius and what is ground for our layer mask perfect now move input is the next this thing that we're going to do is equal to input dot get access and we're going to do get access raw because it feels a bit better when playing. Uh, but you can also use get access. And we want to say horizontal. Uh, this should be spelled right. I hope so. Okay. Next thing is rb.velocity. We're going to set that to new vector 2. Uh, move input multiplied with speed and 
lastly rb dot velocity okay so we are almost done here uh the only thing that we want to do wait oh yeah i forgot dot y don't forget that um we only need to do one if else statement so we write if facing right it's equal to false and move input uh, here move input put is bigger than zero what we want to do is uh, make before that uh, we need to make another function down here but, but before that we're going to do else if face oh no facing right facing right is equal to true and move input is smaller than zero then we also want to do something here but this we will create now so what we want to create now is a void and we call it flip and just use that okay uh, so now here we can say flip and down here we also say flip okay very awesome so just save that real quick and we all we are uh, already done with fixed update we only want to do flip and update okay so our next thing is in our update we want to check if is grounded is true uh, now here if is grounded is equal to true and uh, if we press the spacebar so input dot get key down get on uh, no, we want to get key down um we want to here get key code dot space okay so if that happens that means we are standing on the ground and we press the spacebar so what we want to do then is do rb dot velocity uh, which we set to vector 2 dot up and we will multiply that with our jump force so this should be working pretty awesome so we are done with that and the only thing we need to do now is do our flip so we want to set face thing right uh, equal to not facing right here also we want to do a vector 3 this time scale we call that scale -ler. and we want to set that equal to transform dot local scale local scale here and then we want to say scalar dot x multiplied with a minus one so what this will actually do uh, we also need transform dot local scale is equal to a uh, scalar what this will do is once we call flip our character will actually uh, flip around okay perfect so this should be working now so if we go into unity we of course need to create our character first uh, we'll do this by okay right we'll do this by just creating an uh, 2d object or actually yeah we can call it, we do a 2d object and call that player we also want to tag it as player for we don't need it now but probably later uh, we want to do some sprite here we we'll, of course um, we of course also will later in the tutorial series make a real character but for now I think this black dot is okay now our character controller script we drag that in here set the speed to I don't know let's say 15 jump force to 15 2 uh, check radius we can set at 2.5 what is ground we oh we haven't done that okay okay so that's it for the player we also need to go to our ground here go to layer 
left click add layer and we make layer 8 which will be ground no ground perfect okay we just exit that out go here again and select ground so for everything that the player should be able to walk on uh, you will set you need to set the layer to ground because in our player here we set what is ground to ground and the last thing that we want to do is zoom in on our player a bit then here right click and create a empty object uh, this one you'll call ground check and we can just uh, do this oh this is a bit big as uh, of everything is a bit big okay I think it's all right okay we're gonna do this and drag it here to the player's feet okay so once we're in the player here again we're gonna drag the ground checks uh, object here inside so the last thing that we need to do is of course give our player a box collider it's a bit big here so let's make it a tiny bit smaller oh it doesn't really matter because we will replace the uh, player graphic uh, probably even in the next tutorial but for now this looks better so we also need a rigid body 2d okay perfect um, we want to do for our next tutorial you don't need it now but for our next tutorial we want to set the toilet collision detection to continuous uh, okay so let's save that and let's try it out it should be working oh yes it is working oh and it's a bit too much uh, 15 was a bit too much let's say uh, 5 instead okay let's try that 5 instead and go in and this should be yes it's working pretty nice so you have a player that can jump and walk around perfect uh, okay so I think this will be it for our tutorial here uh, of course I'll make uh, more tutorials every Sunday I will upload a new tutorial in this series in the next tutorial we are gonna maybe make dashing we can do dashing but we can also maybe do the tile map so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do but probably uh, I'll do dashing and tile maps but uh, yeah this was it for this tutorial I hope you liked it if you did you can of course like this video subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss the other videos in this series and I'll see you in the next tutorial